Hello fellow collectors, today we're going to be talking about Star Wars The Black Series from The Mandalorian TV show Flame Trooper. And we see the Flame Trooper is in a white Stormtrooper outfit with red highlights, his shoulder pad is red. He does come with a flamethrower that attaches to his backpack. And he does come with this flame accessory that will attach to the end of the flamethrower which is very nice. You see the peg hole here? So if we pull the figure in, get a closer look, we can see it definitely has a Stormtrooper helmet, what looks like red paint, which is a nice touch, the blue highlights, all this nice detail in the figure. We can see the strap here going across his chest. We can see definitely a specialized Stormtrooper has the standard uniform with these red paint apps, which is very, very nice, like I said. If we look at the backpack, we can see we have this Imperial stamp here, the hose that connects, the two hoses, might I say. Um, <clears throat> and we look at here. Now, this one is modeled after the Stormtrooper with these shoulder pads that aren't too flexible. Um, they will allow you to get a good T-pose though. His head can look up this much, down, left and right without a problem. And back and forth movement is not an issue. Now as far as the top go, he does have no bicep swivel, but does have a elbow on a joint here. So you can see it can rotate all the way around, go forward, and his wrist does rotate all the way around too. As far as ab crunch goes, this guy has a decent one. Because of his backpack, he can only go so far back, but forward is no problem. Now, he does have the rotation via the chest piece. I'm not really seeing a waist swivel. As far as the rotation, or his legs go, splitty, goody, and forward and backwards. Now he does have the normal double bend that Star Wars has. You'll see it's just on a, a swivel here. And it will allow rotation all the way around. You'll notice his ankle is on a ball joint. Allows for up and down movement. And he does have two peg holes for them. Now if we look at his gun, it is attached to his backpack. So it is all one piece. You can see here. Nice detail in that. Other side. And the flame piece will attach right here. So you can just wiggle it in and makes a nice accessory piece. Now it does become heavy, so you will need his other hand to help hold it up. Now let me get him on the base stands. Now, I wish Star Wars would come with stands, but they don't, even though they have the capabilities of that. So you'll see this is a nice effect for the trooper. Definitely one of the good things that they added on here. Now, if we look at the figure's height, we'll see that he is the standard uh, six inches. Well, he doesn't want to stand because he is that back heavy. So, <laughs> we see he comes in at six and a quarter inches. So, he will match up with G.I. Joe without a problem. And also, Marvel Legends, since they are manufactured by the same company. So, they will share the technology, which will share the same kind of molds. So this guy is great. Um, definitely looks good on your Mandalorian shelves. Um, like I say, I do like to, to have it with the flame on. He definitely looks cooler. I just wish they would have had a better placement for the, the hand. Because all he does is really just hold it up here. But definitely a nice touch. And having that scene in there with the trooper where Grogu takes care of him. 
is also cool. So until next time, guys, remember, like, subscribe, and keep collecting.